This is how we ride. This is of how all we the do. news we're hearing in this offseason, the worst damn thing I've seen on my facey bookie page is this shit. Ryan Timms takes over the 67 for Keith Coons Motorsports. This is a story on speedsport.com. And some of you know I've worked with Ryan Timms since 2017 18. And from the get go, it has been from my understanding that they are not going NASCAR. They're going for World of Outlaw Championships, this, that, and the other. Maybe this whole issue with High Limit and World of Outlaws has kind of shook the scene up enough to where, hey, they need some stability in their choices. But we also know that when we see a driver's name on a Keith Coons midget rent-a-ride scenario, not sure if this is rented or sponsored, just saying, that this is the first step in a driver wanting to pursue NASCAR career-based opportunities. Now we read into this more, the 16-year-old open-wheel racing sensation is planned to contest the USAC National Midget Championship with the Keith Coons Motorsports team and will make his debut in the number 67 at the Chili Bowl Midget Nationals in early January. It also says once Tim's willed the 97 KKM Midget to Victory Lane during the USAC's Mid-America Midget Week in July, the deal was set in motion. There's also some mention in here on how NASCAR, World of Outlaws, or USAC are, are options. He also says, next year, if I can just get my head right and put a whole year together and be consistent, I feel like I can win the USAC championship. There are some good guys I'm going to have to beat, but I'm confident in my car, I'm confident in the team, and I know they're confident in me. So, this is some news to some people who have heard that Tim's is not going NASCAR because this seems like that's the case. But here's what I think. I think Tim's is in a situation where he can kind of do whatever he wants. He's looking at his future. It's looking bright. Are we all, are we going to go to an all-electric society? I don't know. And he, his future of racing is over anyways. But in the scenario, he has 20, 30 years to race race cars. I don't think it's fair to say you can't run NASCAR or you can't run Indy cars, which is something I would like to see impossibly do i think he's got the frame for an indy car racer and i think indy car racing is on the up and up more so than nascar is on the downy down heck even uh give a hint to tony stewart let's see him drag race let's see do whatever you want Let, let's do you sack midgets for a year why not i don't necessarily think this this is a shoe in to the nascar path i think that that nascar path is is pretty much gone who's the last one to t- uh, technically go from the Keith Coon midget to NASCAR outside of Buddy Kofoy. And, and if you want to reference Larson and Bell, that's almost 20 years ago, guys. So I'm just saying, I don't know what that path from midget to NASCAR is there. If it is there for him and he's getting it sponsored and people are wanting to put him in race cars in NASCAR, okay. But I do see this as possibly opening up some doors for IndyCar racing. I think that would be a very cool scenario. Opens up some doors for some silver crown racing. I like that opportunity as well. That sounds like a very exciting uh, viewing pleasure. But I'm just saying, I don't think that this means Ryan Timms is out of dirt racing. How I think it is, I think they're looking at it as a solid year that they could pursue a championship with a a well-rounded crew chief. Meeting a bunch of people, a lot of connections will be made throughout this venture. Does that mean they're going to commit and beg to be in NASCAR like everyone else? I think that is not the case, whereas most people who get into this scenario are begging and pleading to get an opportunity in NASCAR. I don't see them as a, as a unit, the Tim's organization, looking at this as that. And I think that means we we might be a little safe as far as losing Ryan Tim's to the NASCAR land. Maybe some rally racing, maybe rally cross. Why not? What about all these other scenarios, other forms of motorsport that are in America that are pretty fun to watch that are not NASCAR. I don't know. You tell me. This is definitely one of the rising stars in the dirt racing scene. And I don't think we're going to lose him to NASCAR personally. I know it looks like that. I know this looks like that. But I just don't think that's the case. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What is this move with Ryan Timms going to the Keith Coon Midget number 67 mean for the future of a Ryan Timms? I don't see it as a NASCAR rise. What do you think, though? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time. This is how we ride. This is how we do.